Good morning Year 3. This is your final maths lesson for this week and I hope you've enjoyed all the learning. Do remember to send us anything that you are proud of that you've done. Now it's time for you to open the slides for your final lesson. Today the learning objective is to compare and order lengths using different units of measure. You will need to remember the meaning of these symbols. We practice these on Monday when comparing capacities. We've used them throughout our time in Year 3 and we really want to get them firmly embedded in our brains ready for Year 4. So we have got less than, greater than and equals to. Put less than, greater than or equals to symbols between these pairs of numbers. There are different units of length measurement, so please read the measurements carefully. Pause the slide to give yourself a chance to write down the correct symbols and the answers are on the next slide. Now check your answers. If you did make any mistakes, can you work out what it is that you made a mistake with? Did you use the wrong comparing signal? Did you misread one of the measurements? It's really powerful to be able to work out your mistake. You really do learn from it and it will help you with your work later on. Let's continue with comparing lengths, this time looking at children's heights. Can you put these children in height order? Then answer the questions. Who is the tallest? Who is the shortest? Who is taller than who? Pause the slide to give yourself a chance to have a go at these questions. Now sort these lengths into the correct part of the table. So working out from the measurements listed, which ones are longer than one metre, which are shorter than one metre. Once you've done that, can you measure the length of different objects or people in your home and record your results accurately in this table using the correct length measurement? This is a section from the do it part of our maths worksheet. First of all, you get a chance to practice using the symbols for comparing length measurements. Then you've got some sentences to complete, followed by looking at the height of towers which have been built, and then putting them in the order, starting with the tallest first, descending to the smallest. Once you have completed the do it and the twist it sections, which are on the worksheet, you can then have a look at a couple of solve it's. This is one of them, which you may wish to discuss with somebody in your household before having a go yourself in your workbook. There is also on the worksheet a practical activity, uh, which is optional, of course, um, but you may wish to enjoy doing that too. I hope you've uh, improved your measuring skills this week. Have a great weekend.